Hi, this is Ingrid from Quilt Essential Co. And it's February, so our time to make block of the month together. This is actually much easier than it looks. We're just going to be making some Y blocks and the rest are just squares and then we assemble. But before we start that, I wanted to show you this. This is our Moda Charm Square Challenge. This is the small version. You can join us for this challenge and we're going to do a small one or a large one and there'll be lots of prizes and it's just a fun thing to do to keep us busy when it's cold out. So check that out later on our website or at the store. And the challenge finishes at the end of April, so you've got plenty of time. So now we're going to cut. So we're going to be cutting out our pieces A and B, C, two of D, one of E, and all of your F get cut into squares and then once on the diagonal, so they're into triangles. And on my last page, I also put your recipe because we need to cook and what it would look like if you make it into a whole quilt and what each one of the block of the months in the different colorways looks like. So enjoy those pictures and enjoy your cooking too. And now we're going to sew. So you're going to be taking your Y block ruler and of course it's got the slots on it. I've told you which squares to use and which line to use and you square it up over the back of your square so it's on the wrong side. Make sure when you use your pen you lean into those slots towards the dark lines when you're doing your pieces because you don't want to make those lines too fat. So lean into those dark lines just like this and you're going to mark your C and D squares on the back. So they will look like this. And now we're going to sew. So when you sew, sew with your needle down and you're going to go straight to that line down towards the little X. So one more stop. Lift your foot, come across the little X and then come back here. If you're not 100% on the X, that's okay. Just scoot over or lift up your foot when you're at the end cut and then you're going to go down the other side. So you're staying on the line towards the X. When you get to the X, lift your foot, sew across three or four stitches. Now say you're a little bit off, well that's okay, not a big deal, just catch up with that line because we'll square it up in a minute. To make them the flattest block possible, at this point after you've sewn them, I like to give them a good press. And that just straightens out all the stitch and buries the thread into your piece so that they're nice and flat when you get to the next step of cutting. See how flat that is? Wool mat makes a huge difference too. So now we're going to cut. You're going to be taking this and cutting from point to point. So straight across the diagonal and straight across the diagonal like this. And you're going to be doing those with the blocks that you've just sewn. And then you're going to press them whichever way I've told you to press them. And then you're going to take your F and place this on here. Make sure, and don't forget, I'm just showing you, but you were supposed to press. Make sure your triangle is right on that point and the bottom of this part is right on the edge along here and you're going to sew a quarter of an inch here and then we're going to trim up. So you have your piece sewn together and you're going to use the pink lines now solid on the stitch, pink on the stitch. So whatever line I told you to do, you line it up right on the stitch, right on the stitch, cut both pieces off, get rid of your bunny ears if you want to like we did before in January and they will be perfect Y blocks and when you do that to all of those, here's your Y blocks around here, this was your A and these are your B and what a lovely block that is. I hope you enjoy your challenge of your February block and our charm challenge behind us. That will be fun. And if you found this video useful, please leave us a like and click subscribe for future content. And this has been Ingrid from Quilt Essential Co. 
Thanks for sewing with me today and see you again soon.